All right, hello. Welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today we're reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2023. This would be a three-card general reading, so take the messages that resonate and leave the rest behind. As always, if you guys would like to get a personal reading from me, you may do so by checking out my website, LadyScorpiusTarot.com. If you'd like to donate to the channel or to my website, information is in the description box below. If you guys would like to purchase a spiritual candle, spiritual bag, ritual oils, check out my website. I have a Botanica shop on there. You guys can check out my products on there, okay? Once again, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. Um, you guys, I was doing your reading and my camera cut off because I ain't had no more space, so I had to clear up some memory. But I had already pre like shuffled the cards, pre-shuffled the cards, pulled them out. I didn't even get into your reading, but we're gonna jump right into it. The overall energy was marriage for my Aquarius. So some of you guys might be in a minute a marriage right now. You could be thinking about commitment or thinking about taking things to the next level with a person that you're particularly with right now. Right behind that, we have the lovers card. So so it's definitely somebody that you have love for or that you're in a relationship with. Um, yeah, but marriage is on the mind for the month of September. Maybe your partner is talking about marriage. Maybe you're talking about marriage. Maybe you even could be thinking about marriage. All right. I pulled three cards. The first card we had was poverty. The second card we have is change. And then the third card we have is great fortune. So for some of you guys, it's like maybe you guys might could be wanting to get married or plan a wedding. But maybe you might feel like you don't have enough money right now to plan a wedding. Maybe you're taking care of some extra bills or some debt. Maybe your spouse, maybe you might feel like your spouse doesn't have the funds to help contribute to this, this planning of a marriage or wedding or whatever the case may be. Maybe some of you guys are just feeling like maybe financially you're not where you're supposed to be at or you're not where you're quite where you quite want to be but i feel like you guys are working to change that because we do have the change card here or spirit is working to change this financial situation that you're on that you're in surrounding a marriage or a partnership so things can be better we do have a great fortune as the third card so whatever this change you're going through if you were going through like some type of poverty or maybe a person you're connected to was going through some type of money financial strains it's like i feel like things are changing for them or for you and it's going to lead to great fortune so this is abundance that's coming in um, six, 20, you have the number 26 on great fortune. That's eight. So that's abundance as well. So maybe some of you guys might be even abundant, well off. Maybe you might have more than your partner or vice versa. But whatever this is, I just feel like whoever this is, I still see abundance coming in. So it, it's definitely a, a positive change. Maybe some of you guys might change, um, uh, might be some type of sudden wealth. You might end up marrying somebody that's wealthy or whatever the case may be, or somebody can be looking at you, um, as a person they want to marry and maybe... You two together might even bring in some type of form of abundance. But we're going to go ahead and see what's going on. I do feel like some of you guys might be dealing with financial constraints right now. Or a person you're dealing with could be doing, dealing with that. Um, or maybe you might feel like it might not be enough financially for you guys to get married. I'm not sure. We're going to dig into it to see what's going on. Okay. Universal Spirit, clarify poverty for my Aquarius for the month of September 2023. Why is the poverty card here for my Aquarius for the month of September 2023, Spirit? Why is the poverty card here for my Aquarius? Okay. All right. So we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. So some of you guys could be like maybe like away right now. Um, maybe you could be like isolating right now from something, a situation. Um, with the poverty card being here and the Hermit card, you could be away from somebody right now or not speaking to somebody or... Um, some of you guys might be in isolation, maybe focusing on work, focusing on your abundance, trying to come out of this financial hole that you can be in right now. Maybe some of you guys, you might have some thoughts on or things on your mind about your financial, uh, your finances or like your financial lifestyle or like what you want, but maybe you're not speaking on it. Maybe you might feel like the person you with, um, maybe, I don't know, let's see, clarify poverty, why is poverty here clarifying hermit for my Aquarius for the month of September, poverty, why is clarifying hermit card, okay, okay, the two of pentacles, okay, so some of you guys might feel like you're juggling a lot right now, um, or you could feel like the person you're dealing with is juggling a lot, or maybe marriage will be a juggle, because the overall energy is marriage, so this could be two represents juggling, changes, so maybe it's a change, there's a change happening, maybe somebody's in isolation because they're trying to work on their money, their finances right now, or maybe some of you guys need to focus on your finances more, maybe you've been juggling a lot of finances or moving money around for some of you guys and not really speaking on that, but some of you guys are really need to like stay in solitude right now and focus on a coin, focus on your abundance. Um, some of you guys might be trying to like find some type of strategy or plot and plan, go inside yourself and try to figure out like, you know, how you can come out of this rut, this hole, this financial, you know, juggle that you're in right now. So I got poverty for my Aquarius for the month of September. 
the six of cups okay so somebody from the past this could be a soulmate or somebody that you knew from the past maybe you feel like they're juggling finances or maybe you feel like it might be a juggle financially if you guys get married i'm seeing that for some of you guys but i do feel like there's a lot of love here with the soulmate card the six of cups somebody from your past is returning for some of you guys could be somebody from your past that's returning that wants some money from you and they're poor all right, or they're going through financial issues. So if you got anybody that you haven't spoke to in a while, Aquarius, and they coming out the woodwork, out the cracks, they only coming out the cracks because they going through some shit financially, and now they need you. Okay, now they're going to try to see if they can juggle you or get some resources from you. All right, but the strength card, Spirit is telling you to find your, your strength right now. But if this is you, it's like Spirit is telling you you need to find your strength to overcome, like the juggling, the obstacles, anybody from the past coming back, you know, that's trying to like just come towards you because they feel like maybe you... You're, work, you're wealthy or whatever the case may be. Or if they marry into this shit, their life going to change. All right? But for others of you, this could be a change. Like, you find the strength to, like, go through um, this, this this situation where you're juggling a lot of finances right now. Okay? Um, four of Cups. Yeah. All right. So, let's see. Cliff, let's see. Why is the Six of Cups here surrounding poverty? Ooh. And the Page of Wands. Some of you guys could be, like... A pursuit of a new journey maybe you guys can have like a, a child as well like this could be you like a, a whew. maybe some of you guys are taking care of responsibilities with the page of wands this is like somebody trying to like seek some type of like new adventure or new beginning or like trying to study something maybe you guys like have a, a child that you that could be studying um a student or whatever like that and that could be a juggle financially taking care of a kid um that's for a small group of you guys if you're taking care of a lot of children right now um, maybe trying to find different clever ways to come up with money or different avenues of income. I'm seeing that for some of you guys. But let's see. Clarify change. Why is change here? Why is change here for my Aquarius surrounding marriage for the month of September? Why is change here? Oof, a lot of cards that came out. So we have the world card and the emperor. So some of you guys are wanting to like... Oh, let's see. So many cards coming here. So, it's definitely changes coming towards. Some of you guys are closing out a cycle, okay? It could be a cycle that you're closing. It could be an end of a job or a cycle. Um, Some of you guys are just um closing out something to begin something new. All right? Going towards something new. This is definitely changes with the world card being here. Clarifying double. It's like maybe some of you guys are needing to, like, take control of your life maybe like change the way you think get rid of old cycles like karmic ways or karmic things you used to do in the past maybe it's time for you to change so you can go towards maybe a greater future maybe some of you guys don't even realize that if you do marry this person you'll be very abundant with them but you need to change your mindset and your perspective okay that's for a small group of you guys you might do have somebody that's a soulmate that's wanting to come in but maybe you might feel like this person is not where you at financially for some of my Aquarius. Or so this could be how they feel about you. Take what resonates. But I feel like some of you guys, are needs, you're, you're wanting to take control of your life. And it's like, spirit is wanting you to change the way that you think. Okay, out with the old and with the new. With the world card, it's like an ending to old ideals, old things, old cycles. Okay, so something new can come in. All right, the spirit is wanting you to take control of that. Not be controlling, but take control of that. Okay. Because change is inevitable. Clarify change for my Aquarius for the month of September. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords. So some of you guys might be... <sighs> some changes are coming. I feel like some of you guys are not speaking about it with the Seven of Swords. You could be like quiet about it right now. Not really speaking about the changes that's coming towards you. Or a cycle that's going in. Um, some of you guys might be sneaky energy as well. Maybe some shit changed. Or feelings changed. Emotions changed. Your mentality changed. And maybe, like, you're not telling people about that. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Clarifying change for my Aquarius for the month of September 2023. So. Some of you guys are wanting to walk away from a situation that you feel like is, like, if you, some of you guys, if you are married to a person or engaged or, like, live in a living situation with somebody, I feel like some of you guys are wanting to walk away from a situation um, in order to go towards change or you need to move away from past emotions or past regrets, things that was holding you back. Spirit is like saying like maybe in the past you could have went through some marriage or some shit in the past that had you, your perspective seeing things a different way. Like even if this is like somebody new coming in, like a soulmate that wants to, you know, they want to marry you. They feel like y'all would be great together, whatever the case may be. I feel like some of you guys kind of resisting the change, okay? Maybe you're just trying to take control of your life. You like things the way it is. You're comfortable how things are is. And, but Spirit is saying it's time for you to see things from a different perspective. With the King of Wands, it's like... 
are you going to be in a relationship or are you, are you going to be in a committed person? Are you going to be in a commit with this person or are you going to walk away? So it's like you need to be honest with yourself, okay, or go towards this new change because spirit is actually trying to bring in something new with the Ace of Pentacles, okay? But with the devil card being here, it's like some of you guys got some type of addictions that you're needing to change or let go of, okay? Um, you could be over, some of you guys might be addicted to like gambling or like partying or drinking or some of you guys might be cheating some of you guys might just be having a lot of shit going on like a lot of material shit that you're worrying about right now and spirits want you to change um because you know i feel like the ace of pentacles you have something great and new coming in like spirit is trying to bring you a gift a big offer um but some of you guys try not to overspend or make a big offer out of nowhere because it could lead you to poverty i'm seeing some of you guys if you try to make a don't make no major big purchase this month because some of you guys might be doing it like sporadically or just out of like you know out of desire out of passion but i feel like it's going to lead you in some type of like financial windfall i mean it's financial trap or something like that but let's see why is the ace of uh, pentacles here surrounding change for my Aquarius for the month of september 2023 Ooh. Oh, out, honey. Okay, so I mean, maybe some type of conversation needs to be had. Some of you guys went in your head about things mentally. It's like you're coming out of that. Maybe you're seeing things from a different perspective. Maybe you're wanting to offer something to somebody. Some of you guys could be making an offer to somebody that you find highly attractive, or you're like you're addicted to this person. You could also be like attached to somebody right now, soul tied to somebody. Some of you guys are like obsessed with this person, or you know, they could be obsessed with you. Let's see. <laughs> Lots of Ace of Pentacles here for my Aquarius around and change. Y'all, hold on. My cat is just... Okay. So, some of you guys might be... Um... Why are you close the door, buddy? Sorry, y'all. So, with the Ace of Pentacles coming here, we got the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. So, some of you guys might be maybe making an offer somebody could be wanting the truth like if you're going to make an offer or this is this going to lead to marriage somebody could be having a conversation with you like hey like if this not going to lead to marriage like you know i can't keep competing like somebody could feel like they in competition or you got them in competition right now they got to compete for your love or compete for this marriage or compete to be with you but i feel like you know somebody just feel like a little guarded or defensive all right you could be having a conversation about maybe how you spending your money or like how how you are um I feel like with security, something about security, maybe somebody's feeling like you're, they're not feeling secured in this connection or you're not making them feel connected or secured in this connection. Maybe they haven't talked about security, longevity, commitment, like where is this leading? Are we going to, is this going to lead down to a role of marriage, proposal, engagement? But I feel like some of you guys kind of could be either black right now or like a little guarded or defensive about this conversation this person's trying to have with you. But I feel like it's, this conversation needs to be had so things can change, okay? So things can evolve. Cause I'm seeing that I'm seeing that somebody is stagnant right now. Of course, this could be you need to see things from a different perspective. Okay, so I find a Queen of Swords. This could be you as well, wanting to cut off something, maybe an Earth sign towards Virgo, Capricorn, because you feel like it's like something that needs to change. Maybe the conversation, the communication, the defensiveness, the competition. It's like competitiveness, um, competitiveness, different opinions, different people in the connection. That's why I feel like it could be a lot of different opinions or shit like that. Yeah, the Empress. So it could be a baby mother as well. Some of you guys, it could be a child's mother, okay, that's wanting to, like, cut you off or whatever the case may be. Or you could have gotten to, like, some type of argument or disagreement with a child's mother about maybe, like, the foundation or whatever like that. Like I said, I did see children here as well. Maybe somebody might feel like you're overspending money or whatever. I don't know. It's just, like, a lot of energies going on, Aquarius. <laughs> but definitely a child's mother was surrounding a mother. Why is the Empress card here for my Aquarius? The lovers, yep. You got a choice between... Some of you guys might have a choice between two lovers, okay? Or somebody that you highly love, but it's like this person loves you or you love them deeply, but it's almost like some type of soul connection here, but you guys are needing to like step up, maybe make more of an offer. Maybe you guys are not making that offer that this person wants. They want the cycle to change, all right? Play about a devil card. Why is a devil card here for my Aquarius? For the month of September 2023. Got a lot of cards coming. The chariot and the ace of... Okay, so some we have the, the Ace of Swords in reverse. So some of you guys need to speak your truth about some shit that happened. Maybe some shit changed and you're not speaking your truth about it. Some of you guys could have did some shit behind somebody back. You know what I'm saying? And could have moved forward and did some shit. Took, a, took, you know, took control when you was away. Moved away. Took control. Did some shit out of spite. 
I just feel like the Ace of Swords, like the truth is not here. So somebody needs clarity. Or maybe this is you guys finding, oh, maybe somebody was unclear, but clarity is coming out, okay? And somebody wants to move forward or needs to move forward. Clarify the Devil card. Why is the Devil card here for my Aquarius for the month of September? Why is the Devil card here for my Aquarius for the month of September? It's around the change. The Five of Pentacles, okay? So some of you guys might feel like some of you guys might be overindulging financially, so try not to overindulge, okay, because the truth will come out that you're moving too fast financially for some of you guys, or you just, like, need to take more control of your finances. Someone could feel left out in the cold as well, all right, because you could have moved away or you're moving forward or something that you're doing, Aquarius, that's making somebody feel left out in the cold, or this is how you're feeling, okay, if somebody decided to cut you off because they feel like things are not changing in this connection, okay, I'm feeling like there's a lot of different energies, you got baby mother, you got another person here that's wanting you to speak up and change and make an effort. You got somebody over here, children, poverty. It's just like a lot going on right now. Clarify great fortune. Why is great fortune here for my Aquarius? This is a good card. Let's see what this is about. The two of cups. See, you being with this soulmate, this lover, if you choose wisely and you marry this person, Aquarius, this person, it is going to lead you to good fortune. This is a soulmate that's coming in. Spirit says, I bought you a soulmate. So in order for you to have great fortune, I bought you the soulmate so you can have great fortune. So you could be abundant in multiple ways. Abundance don't just come in finances, Aquarius. Abundance comes mentally physically emotionally spiritually so spirit is really trying to bring you in a soulmate that you can be abundant with somebody that you can share your love your same cup you guys share the same cup you guys share the same wealth or you want to share your great fortune with them or vice versa you guys want to be equally yoked or it's an equal give and take but it's like i feel like you need to be patient with the situation or someone needs to be patient in this dynamic and you know try to like stay grounded and balanced okay because we have the tempest card and the ace of cups so something new is coming in like I feel like spirit, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, like spirit's trying to bring you some type of great love, all right? But some of you guys will need to focus on that. It's time for you guys to focus on what's in front of you and not, you know, what's around you, okay? But I do feel like um, some of you guys got some good love coming in here. Like with the Ace of Cups, this is like even self-love, but this is like overflow of love. This is a soulmate connection. So this is definitely a spiritual love or connection that spirit is trying to bring you towards you. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. But some of you guys are not seeing it. I feel like the Four of Cups, you might got all this other shit on your mind. Mentally, you're not even seeing it. You might got other motherfuckers just trying to pull your attention, Aquarius. But you're not seeing what spirit has for you, okay? You're not seeing what spirit has for you. Some of you guys could have been partying, all out, being adventurous, in and out, third-party situations or whatever. Knowing that you're in a partnership, but it, something needs to be resurrected. So either you're going to fix this shit, Aquarius, or y'all going to change this dynamic and fix it. Or it's like someone needs to let go and heal. But I do feel like Spirit is bringing you something good that you need to work on, but you're not seeing it, okay? You need to move away from negativity into a more positive emotion. You need to see the brighter side of things, Aquarius. You need to see that Spirit is trying to bring you good luck, okay? But, I mean, maybe you might even be illuminated that things need to be more balanced in your life, okay? Things that need to be more balanced. Why is this, um, why is the Knight of Wands here for my Aquarius surrounding good fortune? Why is the Knight of Wands here? The Magician. So, manifesting adventure, new adventures, celebrations, partying, having fun, traveling maybe for some of you guys. Why is the Magician here? Clarify the Magician surrounding great fortune and the Knight of Ooh. Yeah, so it's like some of you guys like want to manifest this and want to go towards this love, but it's like you're taking your precious time. It's like the Knight of Pentacles, he takes his time. He moves very slow. So a lot of you guys are moving very slow. And this Queen of Wands might feel like you're not even like you're holding on to her, but you're not really like moving. You're not offering what she deserves, okay? She's beautiful. She's attractive. You're very attractive to this person. Very sexy. They're very spiritual and smart. Some of you guys can be connected to a woman, like Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries. Very spiritual, very aware, and tu intuitive. Might have a cat. You know, very just very in tune. This person knows what they want. They go after what they want. They're a go-getter. But this person can be looking at you that you're very slow moving, but you're holding on to them, but you're not fully accepting the offer or fully giving them the offer that they want, Aquarius, okay? So, I mean, that's what I see. You guys have choices on this marriage, poverty. If you want to change this dynamic, if you want to make things work, if you want to be single but you guys definitely need to go through a major transformation right now okay it could be talks about a transformation that needs to be had a change okay um but yeah so that's what i have for you guys like let me know if it resonates leave a comment below let's see if we can pull an advice card for you see what advice spirit has for you for the time i mean for the month of september 
All right, Spirit, what advice do you have for my Aquarius for the month of September surrounding this current energy that I read for? Okay. Stop trying to skip the fucking struggle. Stop trying to skip the fucking struggle, Aquarius. It says, keep it positive. Keeping it positive won't insulate you from having emotions and needing to evolve. You're not going to spiritual your way out of hitting the next layer of wounds to heal. So many of us make the mistakes of thinking that we'll arrive and that we'll be that with the life lessons and shit. Personal growth is more like peeling an onion than like climbing a mountain. It gets stickier, stinkier and stinkier and you can cry more but everything gets juicier the deeper you go. The true spiritual badasses don't pretend like their onions don't stink. All right, so it's time for you guys to stop skipping the fucking struggle and pay attention to what's going on. And then it says three ways to fail at everything in life. Complain about everything. Blame others for your bad problems. Never be grateful. Okay, it says today to do list is one. Don't complain about shit Two, take full responsibility for every single thing in your life. Three, be grateful for shit. Tonight, to-do list is one, look at yourself in the mirror. Two, see how hot you are for yourself. And three, be grateful for your bad self, okay? Um, and the last one is, it's okay to not start, it's okay to start the fuck over if you have to, Aquarius. It says, did you fuck up? Start over. Did things fall apart? Start over. Every day isn't a new beginning. Every moment is. Deep as fuck. I know, right? Quit holding on to old mistakes and shit. Just start the fuck over, Aquarius. So stop holding on to old shit in the past. It's time for you guys to start over and see things from a different perspective and change your dynamic if you truly want this love to be here okay because i feel like somebody will walk away if they feel like you're playing games i mean i don't know if it's you or the person you're dealing with aquarius but that's like the energy that i'm getting okay so let me know if it resonates leave a comment below and i will see you guys next month peace